Hey everyone, welcome back to the mailbag. Today we are going to discuss the Shimoda top loader and how to mount it to the chest section of your Shimoda backpack harness. Of course, you're going to need a few items to do this. You're going to need a top loader and you're going to need two sets of Shimoda accessory straps. So you'll want to mount a strap to each of the loops. There's one here, 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 and here. And then we'll secure that to the corresponding loops on the backpack. So if you take your backpack and look at the side panel near the bottom, you'll see a loop very similar to the loop on the top loader right here. And you'll see another one on the opposite side right here. And then if you look at the actual shoulder straps, you'll find uh, a choice of three loops, one, two, and three on both shoulder straps. And you'll also find another loop uh, on the upper rear panel located right here. So you can choose between the shoulder strap or the rear panel, uh, give both a go and just see what's more comfortable on your body. Uh, different body shapes are gonna prefer different setups. So now let's take the top loader. I'm gonna choose the shoulder strap mount because I already know that works best for me. I'm just gonna attach it to the most upper one. You can choose any one of these, but the most upper one is probably what you're gonna decide on. And I'll attach the other one. And I'll go down to the bottom here. Uh, you can see right there. Just slide that through. Flip over the pack. And thread that last one through. So that is pretty simple. And that is basically it. That's all you have to do. Now to actually put this on, you're going to need to unbuckle one side. And then it's probably easiest if you hold the top loader side shoulder strap and put it on like this and then just as you would with your backpack follow through on the other side uh, you can close your sternum strap and then you can just quickly attach this strap you'll probably want to pull some slack when you're attaching it here and then pull it tight a bit so there you go you have quick access to your top loader. Maybe you have a body and uh, lens in here. Maybe you have a drone. Maybe you've just got it full of popcorn. I don't know. So there's just one more detail that I want to share with you uh, when doing this is that you'll notice that I have the long end secured to the top loader and I have the short end secured to the backpack. That's simply because if I want to take the top loader off completely and put it in my backpack, that leaves all the lengthier ends attached to the top loader. So if this is back in my bag and I'm just working uh, with my backpack, I don't have the, the longer webbing uh, hanging from the pack. I've just got these short pieces because you might not want to disassemble it completely every time uh, as that might end up being a little more time consuming than you want to deal with when you're actually in the field. So that's it for today's mailbag. I hope that helped you guys that were wondering. As always, leave a question or comment below if you have one. Like, subscribe, spread the good word of Shimoda, and we will see you next time. Take care.